All right, thanks, Tom and Aaron. He is George Kuntz. I am Burke Griffin. News today, the Packers interviewing 11 candidates in the past week for that open head coaching spot. Looks like they're not going to talk to anybody else, George. I don't think they need to. I think we have our guy, and I'm, I'm really, really excited about the new head coach. Well, are you surprised in the timing of it, at least from the standpoint, and this is according to Adam Schefter at ESPN and then multiple other sources later, Lef Matt LaFleur has been offered the job. If he chooses to accept it, don't even waste any time seeing what's going to happen with those other teams that are in the playoffs. Let's go with the guy that we like right away. Right, and I think that um, uh, he was identified early on in the process. I, I have all the confidence in the world and Mark Murphy and, and Brian Gutekunst. I just look at who Gutekunst has worked with in the past. Ron Wolf, Ted Thompson, John Schneider, Reggie McKenzie, John Dorsey. I think he knows inside and out what type of players to find and coaches. And you add Mark Murphy to the mix. I think it's a home run. Well, LaFleur was one of four candidates with no previous NFL head coaching experience, but he is a guy from the Midwest. And look, he grew up in Mount Pleasant, Michigan, played at Saginaw Valley State, indoor football, quarterback, played wide receiver, five seasons in, in college, all over the place. He's cut his teeth. Yeah, he's cut his teeth, and it's not, it's not always about the best coach. It's all about the best fit. I look at Coach Holmgren. He was 44 when he came to Green Bay as his first time as a head coach. Andy Reid, 41. I look at the four Super Bowls uh, in Packer history. All four of them was by uh, head coaches that had offensive-minded. Vince Lombardi, right? Mike Holmgren, Mike McCarthy. Yeah, no, that's very true. And when you look at it, speaking of the other side of the football, his willingness to at least want Mike Pettin and right. some of the defensive right. coaches, that seems like it was definitely a factor in this whole process. I think so. I think we want to change, but not a complete rebuild, a complete uh, teardown. And I think we have that because we have an excellent defensive coordinator with some really young uh, uh, defensive stars. It's going to be very, very exciting to see the Packers over the next couple of years. Well, and it's a, a little bit of a split as well. It isn't as if, if Dom Capers was still here. Pettin was here one year. Right. And obviously had his own resume long right. before he and Mike McCarthy got together. All right. Speaking of resumes, here's how... Mr. LaFleur's looks in the pro ranks just one season not in the NFL he was with the Texans quality control guy that's where he met Kyle Shanahan went with Mike Shanahan over to the Redskins RG3 and Kirk Cousins were there groomed them as a quarterback coach Notre Dame one season then the Falcons Matt Ryan and company not only does he win the, the MVP but they go to the Super Bowl right. then we saw what they did with Sean McVay he was the play caller with the Rams McVay was right. so LaFleur takes the job with the Titans this past season, and he just he's worked his way up the fast ladder. Right. I think he's on the fast track, and I think it's a, it's a perfect fit with Aaron Rodgers. Uh, I'm really, really excited to see because everybody's going to be learning a new system, yep. and I think it's just going to stimulate Aaron's thinking and his play. All right. He is George Kuntz. I am Burke Griffin. Back to you, Tom and Aaron.